Hey guys, my name's James, you can just call me Pembers, and uh, today I'm bringing you some Search and Destroy on Skid Row. So uh, I thought this was a really special game and I really liked it, so I decided to save it and uh, then I've decided to use it for my entry to the Northern Studios uh, HD PVR contest. So uh, most of you on the channel here know who I am, but I'm just going to give uh, them a quick introduction to myself. So my name's James and uh, my in-game name is Pembers and that just comes from my last name which is uh, Pemberton, which is an English name. Um, I'm English but I live in Australia so hopefully you guys know where that is and I live at the island at the bottom which is called Tasmania. So uh, just a quick rundown of my channel, uh, I run this channel with my other friend in uh, in real life, uh, Dane Tiffin or Tiffmeister, and uh, you know we run this channel and a uh, unique, unique thing about the channel is we do our uh, PC commentaries which is uh, the gameplay on the PC which is something you don't really see a lot of in uh, the YouTube community. So uh, I thought this was a good opportunity to uh, you know do, do, a, do a video on our uh, comparing Xbox 360 or, or a console to the PC. So recently I stopped, uh, well I haven't really stopped but I, I'm giving the PC a rest, uh, my Modern Warfare 2 broke on my computer for some reason, like it won't, it won't find in me any games or anything so I decided to get out my old Xbox and I got Call of Duty 4 and Modern Warfare 2 off a friend and I've uh, been playing that a little bit and it's been, uh, it's been quite fun. But uh, I want to talk about the, uh, the the differences between console and PC, which are little things that I noticed. It was a, uh, you know, it was really cool, and uh, hopefully this ties in because I wanted to be able to record some uh, gameplay with the uh, PVR, which is uh, really cool because I thought I like could use this to enter the contest and things like that. So uh, one of the things I noticed is that it's it's not really a skill difference, but it's a it's more of a tech technology difference. Um, that people on Xbox, there's a greater sense of teamwork because uh, when you buy the Xbox, you get that like that little little mic, like microphone thing. So everyone's really talking to each other. But then it it makes for if you don't have like a really good headset, like a pair of Tritons or Turtle Beaches or like things like that, uh, you lose out on the surround sound, which improves your skill in the game of being able to hear like behind you, which is a uh, which is really weird, so you've improved teamwork because everyone has a mic and they're talking, but you, you, all the players lose skill if they don't have uh, surround sound headsets. But on the PC, uh, a lot of people have the headsets, but no one really talks. Like, the, that that uh, team communication is very rarely uh, really there. But then, on the other hand, the, the players that you're playing with have that increased, uh, like... In, like advantage of the surround sound of being able to hear people because I noticed on Xbox like a lot of montage moments like this as well you can run up behind people and you can just whip out the shotgun in their spawn and just start blowing them away and just like doing a sandy ravage and like some of the teammates will just you know pass on by completely oblivious to you like wasting their teammates but on PC and I've tried many times like like the past seven months I've occasionally tried to pull it off and you know you run to the spawn and you'll kill you'll get off like two shots kill two people if you're lucky and the rest of that team is uh, turning around and uh, putting you against the wall blood style so it's like a small technical difference which is really weird and uh, so yeah the other differences between the, uh, the console and the PC is a lot lots of the other PC first-person shooters have dedicated servers which are like I don't, I like the ping idea about the dedicated servers, but I don't like how it's controlled, because you have these servers that have t like 20 people aside, and it's just ridiculous. Especially, it's kind of like a double-edged sword. Like you get the good ping, but for for most people, it wouldn't really matter. But for me as a commentator, it gets quite frustrating to get good gameplays, because one, the match time is increased because you can like customize everything. The match time is increased by a lot. Like it's like 25 minutes, so that means I can't cut the games, which is really annoying. And people on Xbox can play like domination games and stuff, and be able to like fit them into the time limit. But since I can't do that, um, it's yeah, it's a, uh, it's really annoying, and I completely just lost my train of thought. So I was talking about oh yeah, cutting the games, and uh, with the the amount of people on the server, uh, there's no like there's no never any free spawn systems, which is it's quite annoying. So when I try to get a good score, like in terms of just me playing casually, if I go 70 and 20, like that's a good score in game, but for a YouTube video, that's like it's not really on par with like other commentators, which is quite frustrating when you get like you do get a good game, but it goes for 25 minutes, and I really hate cutting videos, like I really detest it. I don't know what it is about it, but 
it just doesn't it feels more like a highlights reel than like me actually showing you how I'm playing the game which is really really annoying uh, which yeah like it's weird but so I like the the small servers the small size like time limit the small cap size of um, uh, host mode but I like the dedicated servers because of the pretty much every dedicated server I go on is under a hundred ping it's roughly about 70 ish and every time because I can play on a modded 10 bar system and uh, one bar means over 250 ping and I have that system and most servers I go on I usually have a one bar so every single server that I go on that is being hosted by another player I have a 250 ping which but it's also the same for the other players but it just like when you play on a dedicated server you can really feel that that impact of the bullets like they hit pretty much straight away which is a uh, which is really nice a uh, bonus and uh, check this out I just pull some ninja moves whip out the USP with a the attack and, uh, tactical knife this is like my main uh, S search and destroy class uh, which is a UMP oh, UMP um, MP5K silencer with marathon pro uh, stopping power pro ninja pro with a tactical knife with the USP and uh, yeah it's just kind of like my, my SD class I really like the uh, MP5K it's like my uh, it's like my god weapon, like most for most people see yeah, the UMP, but for me, like it's this gun, and I really like it. So uh, yeah, uh, the pretty much the tactic I employed in this search and destroy game is pretty much I just ran the same way every single time. Uh, I, I think we played a match before with this team, and they weren't too uh, weren't too smart, so you know I employed the same tactic. And uh, okay, so the next round we uh, lose. I do do believe that my two deaths are caused by me getting overconfident. And uh, I try to take a guy with an assault rifle, and I think I died just up here, which is kind of annoying. So, uh, yeah, so, uh, yeah, if you've been wondering why I haven't been making very many videos of late, and I haven't been uh, playing Modern Warfare 2, uh, it's because it's been broken, and, like, there's nothing to really commentate about that video anymore. Like, I try to get other gameplays, but they're just not uh, suitable. Like, they go for too long, and I don't like cutting them. So... Uh, if any of you guys want to play with me on Xbox, I'll uh, load it located in the Asia district. Uh, feel free to add me. My uh, my name tag thing is in the channel uh, description, like on the channel page. So please don't leave any comments saying what's your uh, pair fucking gamer tag or whatever, because that'll uh, annoy me. But you know, like it's a uh, yeah. Oh, the definition of camping is a lot different from the PC to the. Uh, dedicated like the host servers so additionally camping in a host server is kind of like a, a wings redemption where you like you hold down an area the definition of camping of a PC means you get like the LMG sorry a burp there and you hide in the corner and then you just kill anyone because there's that amount of people they are the the choke points are really really pressured and there's always people coming out of them so it's pretty much just like you sit there and you're always going to get a really good score, which it, it seems quite obnoxious, but I don't really see how people can complain. There's just that many people that there's that much bullshit going on that it's just kind of the normal. Like, you get naded out of nowhere and you'll just cop bullets from, like, through a wall just because some guy's got his LMG and is spraying it. But, uh, that video's coming to an end. I thought it was a pretty special search and destroy game. Uh... 15 and 2, you know, not the best gameplay in the world, but I thought it was pretty nice, and I hope you guys at uh, Northern Studios like it, and, uh, you know, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you later.